everybody welcome to another recap of America's Next Top Model All-Stars so the models are sitting around grooming each other like they usually do and guess who busts in for a cup of tea Kristen Cavallari she's so hot right now she's on Dancing with the Stars what a coinkadink alright so she offers the girls some advice because she's so famous now from being on reality TV shows Everyone has haters, girls. You just have to be true to who you are. And, you know, do whatever you can do. <laughs> P.S. I'm queen bitch now, so I'm producing lots of reality TV shows and blah blah blah. Bye. Gotta run. Alright, see you at judging. Alright, they show up at the Grove. Nigel is pretending to be Mr. Conductor on the trolley. Guess what they film at the Grove, kids? Yeah. Mario Lopez's extra. So he's going to be interviewing all of the girls. And since Bianca and Lisa were the winner and runner up from last week, they get to pick the teams. So there's two teams, and the winning team is safe from elimination. So team one went, and that was Lisa's team, and she was interrupting everybody and giving them high fives, and it was pretty much a train wreck. You don't do that on TV. And Angelia. She was kind of boring. She wasn't really being herself. She was being very bland. Uh, team two, that was Bianca's team. Bianca's talking about like word diarrhea and uh, I don't. It wasn't that bad. Team two had I think less offenses than team one, and they were picked the winner. Allison was the overall winner because she was very classy and uh, she was just really interesting. So on team one, the one that has to watch out for elimination is Lisa, Angelia, Alexandria, Isis, Dominique, and Laura. So for the photo shoot this week, they bust them over to Siren Studios, and when they walked in, they found stilt dancers who were amazing. I was just like, wow. I was just like on X Factor like this. It was really good. Um, the photographer is Sarah Silver. And the losers are going to be paired up with the winners. It's going to be a teams of two photo shoot. So here's some of the highlights and the lowlights. Well, mostly the lowlights. Uh, Isis fell a lot. <laughs> and Bianca went in the crapper and cried. Hello, you do not sit on the floor in a public toilet. Didn't your mother teach you that there are germs there? Bodily fluids splash. I'm not even going to get into it. All right, and Alexandria, she was a crazy risk taker. She really um, had some interesting moves, and she was really going that extra mile. So it's time for judges panel already. Oh my god, that went so fast. The judges this week, as usual, Tyra heading up the judging panel. Andre Leon Talley, who, by the way, for season 18, is going to be replaced amicably, I might add, by Kelly Catrone. You know her. She's another queen bitch. And Nigel, of course. And Kristen Cavallari. I told you she'd be back. Alright, so let's talk about the photos. Alexandria and Shannon's photo were first. Uh... Alexandra had her leg up. It was a really hot shot. Shannon was strong, too. Uh, next photo, Anjali and Allison. New phrase has been coined. It's called booty tooch. Basically, it's sticking your butt out like a dog in heat. <laughs> Angelia, however, did not have a booty tooch. She just was a barrel. And when I say barrel, I don't mean, like, fat. I just mean she had no shape. Uh, Dominique and Kayla. Kayla kind of faded into the background, and a lot of people were unhappy with Do with Dominique's picture because it was very hard and masculine, and she had one hand over her crotch, and she was pulling her hair out with the other one. It was kind of weird, actually, but I, I actually didn't mind the hair pulling, but the hand over the crotch was kind of weird. Then Camille and Isis. Um, Isis was the only one in the photo shoots wearing pants. And they weren't just regular, like, leggings. They were, like, silver. That was really weird. Why was she the only one wearing pants? If you know, leave it in the comments. Um, and Camille, I thought her photo was blah. But they were both blah. 
Laura and Brie up next. Uh, I actually really liked their photo. It had a lot of symmetry to it. It was an opposition of strong against weak, but Brie kind of looked like a deer in the headlights. And then last photo was Lisa and Bianca. I like these. I like their photos better that they showed when they were taking them, actually. I'm not so sure if I were Tyra, if I would have picked this one. But uh, Bianca looked good in this photo underneath Lisa's leg, but the shape that Lisa was making, I didn't really like very much. I'm, you know, I don't know if there wasn't better photos. I'm sure Tyra would have put a better photo if there was one. All right, so the, out of the winners, this is the order of the photos. Allison was number one. Then Bianca, Shannon, Brie, Kayla, and Camille. I guess that's probably pretty accurate. <laughs> And the losers. Um, the winning photo of the losers was Alexandria. I really liked her photo. Then Lisa, not so much. Then Laura. Then Dominique. So the two losing photos, you know, in the bottom two, Angelia and Isis. And I was really surprised that Isis was eliminated. Not because... Um, well, the photo was bad, but I thought that Isis would have stuck around a little bit longer, but maybe if they hadn't split the field, uh, Isis would have not gone home because she didn't really have the worst photo. So she's eliminated. Next time, it's a big show. CSI audition, and Kayla has a medical emergency. OMG. I wonder what's wrong with her. Whether it's just a virus and they're just like teasing the hell out of it or something's really wrong. So until next week, much love.